Hi, I'm Juhan Yu. Suitability modeling is a classic workflow that students often learn in school and has many applications such as planning and site selection. Today, I'd like to show you an exciting new tool that will change the way we do modeling. It's a new capability in ArcGIS Pro called the Suitability Modeler. Let's go ahead and create a suitability model. Coffee is the second most harvested crop in Hawaii and is expected to continuously grow during the next decade. To meet the growing demand, finding additional land needed for coffee production is a challenge. Using the suitability modeler, we can start our analysis. By adding a number of data layers, we can overlay and find the best areas for coffee production. These layers include land cover, slope, aspect, and data such as soil type. We can even look at the percentage of andesol, which is a soil type high in volcanic ash and coffee grows well in. Once the data is loaded, we can select the layer to start building our model. Let's begin with land cover. Let's adjust the windows a bit before we continue. The map shows the most suitable areas in dark green and the least suitable areas in red. On the lower left, the transformation pane shows us a histogram of the overall suitability model. In the center is the transformation window where we take the input layer and change each land cover type to a numeric score. And on the right is the resulting histogram of this layer. The tool automatically recognizes that land cover is categorical data. Let's switch the field to class name to see the different types of land cover and adjust its score. Looking at the map, most developed areas are already assigned a low suitability score and shown in red, but we want to lower these scores a bit more. and also increase the score of cultivated crops to better fit our needs. Looking at the original land cover layer, this gray area is barren land located on top of a volcano and is incorrectly assigned a high suitability score. Let's correct this as well. Perfect. Moving on, let's add a second map. These two maps look identical at the moment. As I add the slope layer, the maps update on the fly and we can see the changes applied. On the left is the overall suitability model. And on the right is the slope layer that we just selected. For our coffee plantation, we're gonna favor flat and low sloped areas. By using functions in the transformation window, we can change the slope suitability to be linear and invert it to get the suitability score we want. An important layer that we need to add to our model is precipitation. For our coffee plantation, we're gonna aim around 1200 millimeters of precipitation per year. We can achieve this by using the Gaussian function. The Gaussian function scores the mid-range the highest and minimizes the very wet and dry areas. By adjusting the midpoint to 1200 millimeters of precipitation, we can get the results we need. From this table on the top right, we can explore how these input layers are combined together using a weighted overlay. These layers are all equally weighted at the moment, but at any point in time, we can easily change the weights. Precipitation is critical for our coffee plants. Let's switch the weight to three so that areas with low suitability scores in the precipitation layer affects the overall suitability model more. Let's close some of these windows before we continue. Like before, we can continue to add and analyze more data layers, such as air temperature, dominant soil type, and pH level, to create our final suitability model that looks like this. Our final step uses the locate function to find the best suitable 640 acres of land divided into two regions for coffee plantation. These are the best 640 acres of land across the entire island of Maui that is owned by a ranching company. As you can see, the suitability modeler is powerful and dynamic. A true end-to-end -end experience from analyzing data to finding your optimal location, and is a great way to learn and understand weighted overlays all in one tool. 
It will completely change and simplify the way we do suitability modeling from now on. Thanks for joining us today.